What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Who's pumped for the Why Don't We's new album? Not only that, who's pumped to potentially win a signed CD? Because I was in their live stream, or I joined their live stream and bought eight of their CDs, the new album. Three of them are not signed, three of them are, they are alternative copies, but five of them are signed. Four by the whole band, one by Daniel. So I'm pumped to be giving them away here on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, definitely send me a text. Make sure you send me a text, because that's probably how I'm going to figure it out. Uh, or gonna give them away is through the text messaging, but make sure you send me a text. I'll probably do something here on YouTube, but at least you'll know what's going on if you send me the text. So, uh, like I said, I'm pumped to be giving them away. I'm pumped to hear the new album. Um, it's cool to see the progression of their music. I don't know if I know this song though, so um, I'm looking forward. It's gonna be interesting to, to hear the songwriting aspect of it, uh, not knowing the song. Uh, but as always, you can hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy this content and want to see this channel grow and support this channel. That's the best way you can support this channel to the channel. Incredibly grateful for all the growth and, 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 and the, the support. But uh, if you want to check out my music also, you can check it out. Jacob Restituto. Let's see something different by Why Don't We. It's always so awkward when I like press play for it to play and it doesn't play because my mouse is somewhere else. Let's start. Game. It's like when you, <laughs> it's like when you like try to make a point and slam the door, but like the, the, the door slams or something like that, which you shouldn't be slamming doors in people's faces. Just not not appropriate. Not the best way to handle these situations. But it's like in the movies when they like slam the door and like the door just kind of creeps back open because you slammed it too hard, or you like make make a point and you're like, okay, walk away, and you both have to walk in the same direction. I'm like, okay, let's start and press play, and I'm just sitting here and it doesn't start. It's the worst. The song is what inspired it. We were all like sitting there and we're trying to write a song. We're like. We gotta do something different with this one. Oh, and we're like, oh, ding, ding, ding. Light bulb. Why don't we? <laughs> be mad awkward if I actually have heard this one, like, and I have reacted to it, and like, I just totally forgot. So I apologize. Like, I apologize. I've reacted to a lot of songs. I feel like being in a group is easier because, like, you just have like four other guys with you that like are creative geniuses. So like. Oh, I love you guys. I love you guys. So, <laughs> group hug, group hug. so yeah, so yeah. But like when when that meshes together, it's just magic. So it's yeah. awesome. So I agree with that. I think that there's there's pros and cons to both sides of the, the coin. One of the original pros that I I, I found. Um, I saw my phone blowing up over there. <laughs> I had a reminder go off. Um, one of the original pros that I found uh, with myself with 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 being a solo musician is I didn't have to rely on anybody else. And this is a pro and con by itself. Like I didn't have to wait for a drummer, you know, to practice. I didn't have to wait for the, the guitarist to show up. I didn't have to wait for the keyboardist. I didn't have to write, wait for the songwriter. Like I was all those things. The con is I am all those things and I don't, and I don't have anybody else to rely on. So it's all up to me. Uh, where here you can kind of bounce ideas off uh, in a group you can bounce ideas off each other you can you know you have commodity or com camaraderie um not commodity camaraderie um where you can hang out with people and it, it makes it a little more fun but then it makes there also much more drama sometimes you know like so it really depends there's pros and cons to every situation uh, and i feel like sometimes the grass is always greener but i don't know i, th I think it's it's cool to find contentment with where you are um and maybe if you if you it, or the alternative is you're a solo artist maybe you collab with people and that's why I collab with a lot of artists. Uh, but if you want to collab, hit me up. We'll try to work something out. We'll see what we got. Look at us, dude. Every single video, and I comment on this every time. It just I find it really funny how every single video is a different hairstyle. I feel like that's very typical of a boy band though. Like you look at like I don't know like I, I don't know. It's very a perfect funny. picture about us. From here to toe, I fit you. To be perfect for me? I mean, personality is big for me, and, you know, I, w I want to be able to have fun with the girl that I end up with, so, yeah. I l it's funny to watch them, cause, like these, because this one's almost, like, three and a half years old, so, like, they're mad young here. Love going on hikes. There's this one, especially, Angel's Rest in Portland, Oregon. That's just crazy, so. I hate going on hikes. My wife loves going on hikes. I don't find joy in it at all, actually. M maybe, like... 10 percent but like i don't know i'd much it's just not for me <laughs> if you ever want to i'd much rather go to the movies and she hates going to take the a girl to anywhere in portland go to angel's rest but yeah they follow us yeah we make them think it's fiction they believe it so i guess it must be rare dude i like his voice man he, he you don't hear it actually as well like i feel like the, his live voice actually sound comes off as as better than his pre-record like his recorded voice in my opinion, I actually I I'm realized I never really realized how much that like his voice was that good. I didn't realize it until watching the I Jesus interviews. I can read interviews. your mind. I know what you're thinking. I can spend my time 
feeling all the reasons when I this talks talk production for 14 seconds right here um time me let's see if it's 14 seconds um but listen to the other reasons you can this is a perfect example of hearing room reverb you can hear that the natural room has this very tight very close very bright natural room reverb they're probably in like a, a 10 20 foot room and it's bouncing off the straight walls um that's natural room reverb you could hear it when a, it's a when good a girl example is like asking me like why do you love me why do you care about me it's like hard to explain how i feel about it so it's because I'm just feeling all the reasons. <laughs> what they know about us doesn't make a difference. Baby, we got us. We are something different. What everyone knows about us or what they think about us doesn't. That's a cool rhyme scheme. Like take to take the same word and do like a different phrasing of it, like difference and different. Like that's that's like um, it's almost like so there's a b a b kind of rhyme schemes. There's there's um. You know, interlinear rhyme schemes. There's a whole bunch of this phrase rhyme schemes. There's a whole bunch of different ways you could rhyme things, but it's almost like it's like an A and an A point two because it's different and difference. So you have like the the the, the rhyme in the beginning of the word, like the diff if if, but that's interesting. And then even the T and the C, uh, uh, like the S and kind of have a kind of syllabical kind of rhyme. But that's an interesting way of rhyming. It really affects us in any way. I think we know each other, and that's that's all that matters. We on something, something, some. We on something different. We on something, something, some. We on something different. We on something, something, some. We on something different. We on something, something, some. We on something different. So what's interesting about this right here so is normally I would feel like the we on something, something, some. I feel like they would have vocal chopped that, and maybe they did in in the in the the production but I'm, I'm impressed that he was able to sing that and portray that very like like that i think that it was well portrayed and well done uh, and it didn't come off as like 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 forced it actually it was pretty cool actually so i think nowadays especially with the media uh relationships are just they kind of lose the uniqueness and the connection because everything is so flashy flashy and you want to portray your relationship all over the internet and you want people to think that your relationship is amazing instead of you just thinking that your relationship is amazing. And so um, with the hook, the lyric is we on something different. And uh, kind of going what off Jack said too about the relationship being kind of on its own wavelength. Um, it's kind of just you and the girl just like experiencing this relationship together and not really caring about like the flashiness or, or what anybody else thinks about it. It's just you and her. I do say, I have to say, I think that Humans have always tried to have been flashy about your relationship. If if it wasn't, you know, social media, it was the high school hallways. Now maybe it's a little more public than it used to be, um, but I think that we, human nature just hasn't changed at all. I think we're the same people. In a rush. You notice that Daniel's the only one that snaps when he sings. In a rush. He keeps his time like that, or he's feeling the music. Even though we only flex and fall in love. Oh, well, that's an interesting lyric. Even though we young, we flexing. That's interesting. In a rush, even though we young, we flexing. I like that's clever. I like that. all in love about a hundred times a day. I think that's just like the reality of the relationship. It's complicated sometimes, but like we always figure it out, you know. Um, that's a well-written lyric. I think that that, that it portrays what you're trying to say really, really well. A hundred times a day. Like it's not enough. Yeah, we make a thing, it's fiction. They believe it, so I guess it must be real. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's a killer lyric. Wow. Everything thing, it's fiction. They believe it, so I guess it must be real. That's a really cool lyric. You know, creating your own fiction, but people believe it, so then does it become a reality? Like, that's, that's a well-written lyric. Yeah, yeah, there's always those assumptions, you know, there's always those rumors. And, um, you know, I guess if you believe it, it must be real. You know, that's <laughs> kind of where it came from. You Perception is reality, as they say. Oh, our whole existence is just one big pun. Is one big pun. Yeah. The amount of why don't we joke. Something different. Why don't we different joke. Something like, different. Tell me, why don't we joke. <laughs> on my way. Uh, on my way. way. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's so funny. Smile, like, you. It's endless. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, you can leave a comment. You can text me who's pumped for the new album. I'm definitely really excited. You can stay tuned for that reaction coming soon. 
like I said, giving away those those uh, CDs here on the channel. So make sure you text me to stay up to date on what's going on with that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. You look the best.